Okay, here's uh, another short video on setting up a screen set. I've seen uh, people ask about a, a console view with just a timeline at the top. This is really just a natural extension of one of the uh, console views uh, that I set up to show the maximum number of tracks with usable info. Uh, but it's really just an extension of that. But I'll go from the start just uh, for anybody who's not actually seen that video. And here I've just got a, a track view. Uh, which may or may not be fairly typical. Uh, don't want to take too much notice of the waveforms, they're just stuff I've dragged in for the purposes of the demonstration. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start by pressing Alt 2, which will bring up a console view at the bottom there, as you can see. Uh, and then I'm going to drag the top of that up. Uh, and the, the distance you go up is going to depend on how wide at the top here you want your timeline obviously you can make that as wide or as uh, narrow as you like but once you've got that up there that's that pit done and you can obviously then set up your console view using the modules to how you want to see it and then it's simply a matter of pressing control A selecting all tracks and then uh, drag in shift click and drag a track down to the width that you've set there so that fills a view what that will do effectively won't matter what track you have highlighted it will still fill the gap basically you've widened them to all the same width once that's done you can then grab hold of the divider between the clips pane and the track header just drag that out of the way so the track header disappears completely and as you can see you now have a timeline if I just deselect that now a timeline at the top console view at the bottom I've also seen it mentioned where people say about the inspector on the side here there is actually a way to get rid of that completely it works with this and the browser uh, if you press I bring it up so you can see it you just need to undock it once it's undocked use the close window and as you can see it's disappeared completely bringing it back just to reverse press I brings it up and then obviously you can redock it left right whatever uh, and collapse it again once it's there so that's a way of getting rid of that as well if that bothers you but as you can see there you have console view timeline at the top and this bit as I say can be as wide as narrow as you want it to be hope that helps someone anyway